In T Forge 2, you can stomp people, and that will grant you a kill. This is also in T World Colors 2. Now we will test it out to see if it's carry on to this game, which it should be. Wow. It did not work. Uh, cool. Okay. And that doesn't work. Mm. I land on him, so no, uh, stomping is not a thing in this game. If it is, it must be extremely glitchy to the point where it... It's basically a game of chance. So no, you can't do it. Or can you? Maybe you can try again. Don't look all the way up. Just look forward. All right. I did. No, you didn't. You looked all the way up. No proof. Oh yeah, it does work, so. So in order for a player to achieve and stop kill, the player must launch yourselves in the air with explosive base, protect all the things, guide yourself to a player and land directly on the air. However, you did not land directly on the air and instead of torture, you will not get a stop kill. Okay, the myth is, uh, is that, is it possible to beat Arsenal with only one item? I mean, that can you get from 1 all the way to 33, which it was possible before, but I'm not sure this glitch will still work. So basically, you had to get the skimbo book on fire, you would burn your friend, they would backspace, and that would work uh, on and on. I think this is patched though. Yep, it is patched. So this myth was true at one point, as you can see on the screen right now, but as of right now, the, this has been patched, which is... Kind of a bit weird because this is one of the most unknown glitches in the game and somehow it works so i think if i backspace will it continue the glitch Pro probably not he will keep on no. burning and in indefinitely and no it is only a one-time thing Ace Pilot takes about 60,000 battle bucks to purchase from a character crate meaning that on average, the normal player would have to buy about 50 character cases in order to get one Ace Pilot skin. The reason for that is because there is only a 2% chance of you unlocking an Ace Pilot skin from every single crate. This is locked beyond that loot paywall crap that I dislike a lot, but this is Rove, so they don't really care. Now, we can actually tell this by, uh, while watching past me waste about $10,000, I mean, uh, 10,000 Robux, my bad. Uh, on the game and then proceeding to buy a bunch of character crates, which I did 180,000 battle bucks around that range and I only got three ace pilot skins. So 180,000 divided by three. That's about 60,000 battle bucks and Yeah, I spent that much for only three ace pilots. So Yeah, that that myth is true on average The player must spend about 60,000 battle bucks from the character crates in order to unlock it. Yeah, welcome to loot boxes of gaming 2020 roll. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! Hey, dude, what are you doing? Yes. I dare you to kill me and then taunt on me and see what happens. I dare you to do that. You can have a longer range with the sword melee compared to the normal knife. So this is a dagger. This is the one you get for free on all accounts. And we will see if that statement is true. So just going to close in while spamming my mouse and see if I get a stab. And as soon as I get a stab, we'll mark down my location. So that is about six studs, probably, or seven or something like that. I'll now go on to the uh, link sword, which is going to be the classic one. That one looks like to be a lot bigger than the dagger, for sure. And I will go ahead and just close in slowly. Close in a bit more. And mark it down. And no, it looks like to be about the same, really. It's not going to give you an, an increased range. And mark it down. No, it doesn't give you an increased range. All the scans are the same. They, they, they just change the appearance of it.
jump like an idiot with weapons like the Barrette as how they make you slow. So when you rather up, you kind of go a bit slower. And that is true. I am pressing D to jump to the right and it pushes me forward because you're supposed to jump to the right when you hold D. That's not really working. And I'm going forward for some reason. If it's time to take a jump, I am jumping forward and instead of going forward, I go backwards. And when I rev it up, I go back even more. And then when I go backwards, I jump forward. So yes, that myth is true. Where if you have a slow weapon, it can insanely mess up your aim because of how weird the jump move movement is. And the physics are just really awkward for the guns like these. Like it. Um, so can you put paintballer at legendary status? Because it's 2.4k, same price as legends, instead of 1.2k. I have no idea why it's this expensive. It should not be this expensive, but I don't know, maybe someone was taking advantage over the fact that people buy that skin a lot. I'm like, uh, it does somewhat work, but you can't really shoot or move. I mean, you can move, but you can't shoot. So I'm going to deploy with a blue team. And yeah, like, I'm moving, but I can't shoot. I can jump, but I can't shoot. And even if I could shoot, I couldn't, like, I can't, like, move, like, you know, look up or down. My guns are just stuck like that for a, for a lifetime. And yeah, um, the Roblox VR, I mean, uh, Arsenal in VR is very boring. Like, sure, I can move around and stuff. I can also default dance, I think. Yeah, there's me default dancing, but I can't, like, shoot or uh, do any sort of that cool stuff. So well, that's the unfortunate part about this. You can swim on the map glacier with a skateboard. What I mean by swim is just, like, survive on the water, because this will usually one-tap you, but let's see if we can... Survive on a skateboard, and that looks like it is true. Although, just for a mere second, no, there's actually a little kill brick right there. Sometimes you can glitch it to the floor, but it doesn't look like skateboard makes it any better. You wait, ooh, okay. It looks like you can, someone, as long as you don't do that animation where your leg goes into the water. It looks like so. You just slowly tap W, you can actually quote-unquote swim underwater you will survive but as soon as you hold W your leg will touch the floor and you die okay next myth is that um, if you are un underwater with abusing this glitch I guess is it possible for you to get shot under underwater so can you become a god basically we will find it out okay go on and shoot me I yes. yes, you do become a god by going underneath the water. The only way they can kill you really is with an explosive weapon that's only on, on standard. And they can also attempt to backstab you or just push you into the water like that. So that's really the only way they have to kill themselves in order to kill you or wait for an explosive based weapon to go ahead and kill you. The myth is you can shoot a bullet through a window and still kill the player. So usually you would just break the window, but can it actually go through the window as well while breaking it? And no, that's not true. It'll just act as a one-time shield barrier. That's it. But of course they can be killed when the window's down. Okay, the next one is going to be, you can fire faster with the Mosin if you do that knife combo trick. So, I used to do this a lot in my vids, but this has been patched, I believe. But we will put, put that to the test. And spamming. And as you can see, you still got to manually pull out the bullet. Although, it can work sometimes without pulling the bullet. You got to spam a lot faster. And now, I will just fire normally now. Cocking every bullet. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're just ready to fire at that. And then I'll do a camel knife trick thing. It seems just to be about the same, really. Mm. 
it's kind of harder to do now. I noticed that, and it doesn't really increase the fire rate as much as it did before. Before it did, it did it a lot faster. Versus now, it doesn't really do it much faster. So no, you can't do it. Myth is bull crap. 